Hi everyone, welcome back to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today we're going to do another four pan Pat McGrath palette. And this is Divine Rose Luxe Quad Eternal Eden. And it looks like this. If you watched yesterday's video, this look kind of looks like that. Is it exact? No. But you're going to find that the last couple releases especially have been very pinky rose tone, which I'm personally fine with myself. You know, that's just me. But I can see where people may not like it as much, I suppose. So the first shade I'm going to go into, I believe, would be Temptation. It's the hot pink matte. And we're just going to start with it over here. Which is almost what we did yesterday. We started basically with a pink and then went into a darker shade. Though yesterday's palette, was a bit, that darker shade was a lot darker than this particular shade. Basically, this is like a more muted palette of that particular palette. But, nonetheless, I uh, like it a lot. <laughs> I get along with pink. I know that a lot of people don't. They don't like it. it. Makes them, from what I understand, it makes them look like they got pink eye. Or they think they got pink. They think it makes it look like they got pink eye. I don't know if that's the case. If that's true or not, to be honest. I just don't really care. I like pink. There's not many pink eyeshadows that I don't like. I mean, I'm sure they're out there. Don't get me wrong, but there's really not that many. In all honesty, the way Pat McGrath puts the shades together with each other is also why I really do like them. Like, it's a no, it's kind of like a, I don't have to really think about it, I just have to apply when it's just four shadows, one. And two, they all look very, like they just belong together, the shades do. But I can understand where it may, it may look, you know, repetitive in a sense to some. Even though they're not exact shades, you know, shade for shade, it's kind of the same concept. So I can, I can agree to that. But I can also agree that I like it. And I must not be the only one or they wouldn't keep doing it, you know. I have to believe that that must sell somewhat well for them to keep coming out with color stories like that. Okay, so I'm going to take that same shade now and run it under the lower lash line. And like I said, I've enjoyed going back through these palettes and rediscovering, you know, what I have. And how much I've missed them. And I've kind of enjoyed the looks that I've created, too. Some more than others, obviously, but... I've definitely enjoyed them. Which doesn't surprise me, but kind of does, in a sense, also. Like, it doesn't, because, I mean... I like, you know, Pat McGrath shadows, so it shouldn't surprise me at all that I forgot to put anything in my waterline. Okay. As always, I just popped a color pop in my waterline, 
in making, what does that say? No. Blown away. Making. I don't know where I was getting that word from, but. Okay, the next shade I'm going to go into is Earthly Delight. And like I said before with her shadows, I prefer to tap them where I want them and then blend. Just because I know me and anything that's got that's darker will get out of hand very quickly with me. So it's just best that I place it where I want it and then blend. Now you can do it however you know you you feel comfortable. But that's just how I do it when I you know. It's how I feel comfortable with doing it, I suppose. And you can see how this shade is not as dark as the one from yesterday. The one from yesterday was much, much, like, darker, more, more plum. This is like a subdued plum. And if these palettes are still available, you really can't go wrong with them, to be honest. Like, they're really nice palettes. I'm just darkening that up. It's really hard though to match these up when you're going from one eye to the other. It's a lot, it is a lot easier to, I'm just going back into that first shade. To do them both at the same time. So I would suggest that much for sure. But I also understand that I'm too damn slow, y'all. <laughs> and there's no way that anybody would be entertained for that long. Now I'm going to run that same shade, that darker shade, under the lower lash line, right on the lash line. I'm really not sure if I like the subdued look better or yesterday's look better because I do like both looks to be honest I think what it is is yesterday's look that lid shade was just amazing is what it is I just went back into that pink shade to, because I don't want to lose that pink on the bottom lash line. Okay. 
Then for the inner corner, I'm going to use Pink Mystique. And what I did was with this one is, again, I just put it on my inner corner only. And I do think this is a little bit too dark for me for an inner corner. But I think that like it still works for the overall look. You know what I mean? And then the last shade I'm going to go into is Forbidden Fruit. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not wetting this or anything. And I actually didn't even put the her um, wand on today. What is that called again? The Intensify, Intensify Artistry Wand. I didn't even have to use that today. So I just went in and started patting this. Because it's kind of a more smoother shade, to be honest. It's not, it's metallic, don't get me wrong. But it's really not a chunky. So this definitely goes more metallic. But still beautiful nonetheless. But there was something about yesterday's eyeshadow that just went bam in your face. You know what I mean? And I enjoyed it. And here's the thing. The more you do your makeup, the better you will get. In the beginning, you're not going to know nothing about nothing. What I would honestly suggest is to really, honestly, seriously, you'll get tired of it, is just stare at yourself. <laughs> I mean, I say that in the best of ways because you will get tired of looking at yourself. You will look at yourself and... I'm like, oh my goodness, where did that come from? Where did that wrinkle come from? Where did this come from? How did I get this spot? Where, you know what I mean? And to the point where, like, it's just bad, you know? But at the same time, the more I stared at myself, the more I'm like, I see what they're talking about. Now, there's still things I don't see what they're talking about. Like, my skin tone. Like, I don't think I'll ever find a foundation to... Like, to match myself right, I don't think I'll ever find that. I keep trying, though. I keep trying. Each time I get enough money, I'll buy a different shade or something. And I know you can return stuff, but I just, I don't want to do that. Because I hear that it, they just let, you know, throw it away, which I get why. But I just kind of make it work. Whether it's just, like, taking it all the way down my neck and... Whatever it may be. But I think that's to do with, like, I, my neck and my face is not the same shade. The rest of my body is not the same shade. You know what I mean? So I really don't know. And I know they always say to match your neck, but it don't look right. And where I live, makeup is not... Like a big thing, you know what I mean? So, when you go in to try to get help, it's not like there's a makeup artist there to help you. They're just a regular person like you and me. At least around here. Now, I'm sure if you go into bigger cities, these stores probably do have real makeup artists. But not here. And I can even tell you, like, I don't think that I wear that outlandish of makeup. I really don't. But there's times I'll get looked at, like, where are you from? And the reason I know that is because I've had people say, are you from around here? And 
in some ways it doesn't necessarily hurt my feelings. But it doesn't give you a sense of belonging either. You know what I mean? And then I second guess it too. I'm like, is my makeup bad today? Did I do something wrong? Like, you know what I mean? That's, but that's me. I'm always like that. I'm always self-doubting. I'm so bad about that. I could talk myself out of everything and anything so quick and turn the blame on myself even. Like, I don't need anybody blaming me for stuff when I can do it all by myself. You know what I mean? It's like with people talk about you and stuff, I'm like, there is nothing you could possibly say to me that I have not said to myself already. Because I feel like we are our worst critics and our worst enemy sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Okay, so for bottom lashes, I use the Lancome. But for my top lashes, I use this YSL Lash Clash. And... <sighs> I thought I really liked this when I first used it because I'm pretty sure I got it when it first came out in this sample size or travel size or this could be the sample and it's before I had it for a sample or something but today I don't know but I've been really liking that bite beauty and I hate that I like that bite beauty because I know I can't get it anymore but I don't it could just be that so this mascara may not be that bad I don't know though I can't really tell look at the shine on that shadow Okay, guys. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. So, again, this is the Divine Rose. Divine Rose Luck Quad. Lux Quad. Eternal Eden. Again, I don't know if you can get these still. Again, I'm sure you can find it somewhere. But I don't know if you can still get it at a department store or not. But if you can, if you like these shades, they're not. They're worth it. Um between this one and the other one I think I like the other one better a because it was a little bit deeper and darker and for whatever the reason I've really been liking those kind of looks and the shade in there I guess it depends on whether you like glittery shades or in chunky shades or a smooth metallic this one is definitely more smooth metallic and more lighter the other one was more bold, and the, the shade in there was more chunkier. Now, again, if I use that intensify, intensify wand, I can get that shade to last. Actually, yesterday, I know for a fact it lasted eight hours. Now, I wasn't sweating or anything like that, but that shade did not move from my lid till I went to take off my makeup. So keep that in mind also whether glitter glue it may do the same I don't know I don't use that I do use the intense if I want so I feel it works on me anyway but that is all I have for you today if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe ring the bell hit all that way you're notified when I do upload I'm uploading regularly and I do believe that I've got some newer palettes coming in so I'll mix them in between doing these four pants Plus the review of all the six pan palettes. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. All right. I'll see y'all in the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.